Happy Friday, Bombers. I'm Aiden Kostrowski, and this is Atomic TV. To start off today's show, I would like to give a shout out to Minuteman Press of Kennewick for donating $660 to Richland High. If you are unfamiliar with this company, they designed 2020 grad signs for each high school, developed a website to order online, offered free delivery, they priced the signs for $20 and covered the sales tax on their end, and made a commitment to donate 25% of the sale back to the school. Thank you so much, Minuteman Press of Kennewick, for honoring and supporting the class of 2020 and for continuing to support the other classes. We are so grateful. Now here's Emma with a day trip idea. Hi, Bombers. Another day trip idea is Leavenworth. Leavenworth is a German town with lots of German restaurants. They're known for their many festivals throughout the year that also have live music. Leavenworth also has great things to do during Christmas time, such as the Nutcracker Museum and the Reindeer Farm. Leavenworth also has lots of outdoorsy things to do, such as zip lining, skiing, and hiking. Make sure you guys check out Leavenworth. Now back to the studio. FCCLA is up and running. If you have taken a course in family and consumer science in middle school through 12th grade, you can join. You do not have to be currently enrolled in one of the courses. The cost is $20 and the meetings are on Tuesdays at 9.30 a.m. via Zoom. Contact Miss Anderson for the Zoom link. Now let's watch an Atomic Tours. Hey Bobbers, I'm Peyton Moore here with this week's Atomic Tour. We're at Uptown Antique Market with owner Wendy Christensen to talk about her business. Tell us about your business and what makes it unique. Okay, so if you love vintage, which I do, this business is loaded with vintage finds. I have over 26 vendors in here, and each little space, sometimes people call this an antique mall, and each little booth or space is filled with vintage finds. And I love all the diversity that's in here, the collection of stuff. If you love vinyl records, we have tons of vinyl records. Um, we have vintage clothing, we have furniture, we have home decor, lots of homemade pillows, aprons. And um, there is just, if you can think of it, we have it in this store, it's really wonderful. So if you're redoing a space or you wanna kind of jazz up your room a little bit, let us help you because we have really great stuff. Um, I've owned the store for two and a half years and I absolutely love it. I feel so blessed to do what I love with people I love. And I'm right here in the historic Uptown, which I have shopped the Uptown probably my whole life. So it's really fun to uh, be a business owner in the Uptown. So that's us in a nutshell, just lots of really fun vintage stuff. And how has COVID affected your store through the past few months? So COVID, <laughs> COVID, and small business has been definitely a challenging time. Um, I just wanna give a shout out to anyone who owns a small business at this time. It has been a really rough year for, for um, being a business, um, mostly because of the fact that we, were, we had to shut down. Um, but the beautiful thing is it really taught me to be innovative and to come up with new creative ways to sell and stay afloat in the midst of all the things that were going on. Awesome. And Wendy, you actually graduated from Richland High School, so how can the rest of the Bombers right now help support your store? <laughs> Go Bombers! Yes, I did graduate from Richland High School. Bombers, if you want to come down here, we have vinyl records, we have cool stickers for your water bottles, we have vintage clothes. I have helped so many people find a really cool prom and homecoming dress. I know those aren't really happening right now, but when things get back to normal and you're shopping for a dress, we have gorgeous clothes here. We have purses, we have books. We have so much stuff. Just come by and say hi. Tell me you saw. Uh, tell me you saw me on the video, and and um, yeah, come and just support local business. It makes a huge difference just to come in and say hi. And and I just want to thank Peyton and the um, broadcasting team. She has been a huge support to me. She and her mom have supported my store since I opened this place. So I just want to say thank you, and um, I'm so happy to be a business owner in in the city of Richland and in the Uptown. Well, thank you so much for joining us, Wendy, and everyone come support Uptown Antique Market. Back to the studio. Thank you. Now here's Annie with voting. Hi, Bombers. This is your second reminder to register to vote. If you'll be 18 before October 26, register online at votewa.gov. Remember, election day is November 3rd. Thank you, now back to the studio. Now let's head over to Carson to talk about baseball. What's up Bombers, I'm Carson. I am back here to talk about Major League Baseball. There are currently four teams left in this year's postseason. These four teams are the Astros and Rays, 
and the Braves and the Dodgers. The Braves are leading the Dodgers 2-1 in the series, and the Rays are leading the Astros 3-1. The winner of each of these teams will advance to the 2020 World Series. And here's a charity video. Hey Bombers, it's Megan, and today I'm going to be talking about Chuck Feeney, who was a multi-billionaire. His life goal was to die broke, and that's exactly what he did. Chuck co-founded a chain of duty-free shops, the kind you see in airports, and later made it his life mission to donate every cent he had ever made to charity. He has given away a total of $8 billion. He held on to about 0.025% of his net worth just to keep himself and his wife comfortable in their golden years. During the meeting when he signed the papers to dissolve his charitable foundation, Chuck said, To those wondering about giving while living, try it. You'll like it. This is a great motto to live by. Chuck has inspired tons of people, but two names that stuck out are Warren Buffett and Bill Gates. Warren and Bill both call Chuck their role model and hero. They teamed up to announce the Giving Pledge, convincing 210 other billionaires so far to commit to giving away at least half of their net worth. Giving back to our society is so important, Bombers. Here are a few ideas on how you can give back to our community. Volunteer at Second Harvest, donate dog toys to the Humane Society, or sign up for Richland High School's upcoming blood drive. Thanks for tuning in, now back to the studio. Now let's talk about COVID and sports with Tanner and Cooper. Hey Bombers, I'm Tanner and I'm here to give you the latest news with COVID and college sports. Nick Saban, Alabama's head football coach has gotten COVID. LSU and Florida's game has been postponed. Baylor suspends all football activities. And to qualify for a bowl game this year, you don't need to have a .50 record. Pac-12 schools are now getting cleared to practice. Missouri and Vanderbilt's football game was postponed to a later date. Thanks for listening. Now back to the studio. Now let's talk about the Supreme Court nominee with Cassia. Hi Bombers, today I'll be informing you all a little bit about the new Supreme Court nominee, Amy Barrett. Amy Barrett is an American attorney, jurist, and academic who serves as a judge in the U.S. Court of Appeal. With the recent passing of Ruth Ginsburg, Trump has taken it in his own hands to nominate Amy to fill in her seat at the Supreme Court. With this, the Democrats were upset. According to Politico, they were still furious Majority Leader Mitch Connell stonewalled Merritt Garland in 2016, whereas Trump claims that he has the right, as the president, to use all four of his years to nominate Amy. Amy is currently on day five of her confirmation hearing, and according to CNBC, the Judiciary Committee has set October 22nd as the date that they will vote on whether to approve of Judge Amy to the Supreme Court. Thank you for joining me. Now back to the studio. Have a good one, Bombers, and see you next week.